Okay, Javier, uh, the first thing I would suggest is perhaps moving the text uh, in your heading over either to the center or to the left. That way you can save some space and you can eliminate some of this white space here at the top and this would bring your introduction up a little bit higher. I would begin your introduction, uh, this paragraph here, by introducing yourself first, uh, stating your name, that you work here at the university, that you're doing research, and then you could lead into what you have here. Okay, uh, this question, this last statement here, if you find something confusing, this may be appropriate for those who are uh, doing the pilot, but if you are actually applying this for your research, uh, I would remove that uh, that sentence. And double check your information that you have here. Uh, try to include information about uh, the independent variables, that is the information about either the teacher, how, the years of experience, how long the teacher's been at that particular institution. I would reword what you have here imparted and say the English level, just leave it English level of uh, classes. How many classes do they give each or this current semester if you're talking about or interested in knowing how many classes that they are teaching currently and so I would include all the information about the teacher about the group the specifics of the group uh, in this section here so you may have a couple more fields that you might want to add think too in terms of information that you need to help you decide and which teachers would be uh, the best participants for your study and also include information that you will later include to complement uh, the rest of your data collection techniques. Okay, just looking at your first four questions, I would probably start with these two questions and then lead into these two, perhaps starting with their overall view of errors and, and their, their point of view as far as uh, how they affect communication. Now question eight looks like um, this relates more to the questions that you have regarding errors. So you might want to bring this question up here um, with the first four questions and as they seem to relate more to errors and, and grammar, grammar errors specifically. Uh, here I would spell out three, try to spell out numbers up to nine. And in question 10 too, I would say um, maybe ask them to rank these uh, from one to three. Question 11, check your grammar. How do your students feel about you correcting their grammar errors? And again, this might be more appropriate here. Try to lump your questions regarding errors and grammar together and your questions about the four skills together. And you can decide if you want to present first the four skill type questions first or the grammar questions first, but this one seems kind of isolated also. I'd bring this together with the rest of the questions uh, pertaining to grammar and errors. And uh, question number 12, I would also include observation. If you're going to be observing classes, uh, you're going to want to ask them if they are willing or if they mind that you uh, observe their class. Okay, so other than that, it looks fine. So if you have any other questions about your research, or your instruments, uh, just let me know. You can send me an email in Canvas or come by my office.